Hello, Freedom Church. I'm back with you again uh, to share our psalm with you for today. And we're going to be reading Psalm 58 today. Now, if you've already read ahead, you'll know that this is a intense psalm. OK, you will read it through for yourself and you can see what I mean. Uh, but I'm just going to share a verse with you. OK, that says this. Uh, a couple of verses. So verses six and seven, it says, break the teeth in their mouths, O God. Lord, Tear at the fangs of those lions. Let them vanish like water that flows away. When they draw the bow, let their arrows fall short. And this is a bit of a, a little bit of an example of this psalm, but it's a ten, intense. It's aggressive. It's not the kind of verse that you write in someone's kind of baptism card. It's not the kind of verse that you see on the back of, uh, you know, someone's bumper sticker or on their fridge door. It's a strong verse. But as you read this verse and you see the aggression in it, you see the righteous anger. It's about injustice. It's about things that are happening that shouldn't be happening. And David is telling us and writing us about this. And, and we're feeling the emotion and the passion about what's going on. But we know from Ephesians 6 verse 12 that... It says here, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers. It's against the authorities. It's against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. These verses about breaking the teeth of the lion, about when they draw back their bow, that there'll be no arrow. It's talking about the enemy. It's talking about the injustice of this world. And sometimes we can pray so cozily. We can come and just bring our praise but actually there's something about the aggression and passion against injustice that we should be praying with and we see that in the prayer book of psalms so i want to encourage you and incite you today to get angry against the enemy we can see injustice in our world all over the place as we see people struggling with poverty as we see people struggling against the afflictions that they're going through how about we start getting fired up like in this psalm against the powers of evil that are going on in the heavenly realms that we can't see or understand but we know it's not right and let's come and pray that god brings justice swiftly so guys this isn't just to encourage you today this is to stir you to say let's get fired up with Psalm 58 today. Now, I've got something that I just want to share with you that we're going to be doing something different now going into our uh, devotions from now on because as we've been doing these Psalms, we've been doing one Psalm a day, but after you've kind of been doing this weight training, you need to increase your weights. And so we're going to be doing two Psalms a day and we're going to still be doing a devotional with you and we're just going to choose one of the Psalms out of the two per day. So we wanted to encourage you to read both Psalms and then we're going to have a devotional for you each day. But that's going to be done by a really special group of people in our church. We've been hearing from some of the pastors, which has been awesome over these last, um, over these weeks. But we're going to be hearing from some of our young people, even some of our kids, uh, that are going to be sharing their thoughts on a psalm. Maybe they're just going to share a few verses. Maybe they're just going to share something about what that psalm means to them. But we're going to be hearing uh, from them each day over this next week or so. So I'm so excited about this because I know that our young people, they're special, they're precious, they've got a voice and there's something about they've got something to share with our church so church i want us to encourage them let's get behind them over these coming days as they step out and do this is a huge thing for them but i know that god's deposited something within them that is going to encourage and challenge the rest of our church so we're starting tomorrow uh, with Malachi's stuffings from our Glasgow campus. So uh, Malachi's going to be taking it from here and then we're going to have a, uh, a young person each day after that. So church, let's go for it. Let's keep going for the Psalms, two a day, and look forward to seeing what God does through this next season of the Psalms.